morning readings from the mathematics academy here we see that the roots of the equations are equal and we need to prove that 2b is equals to a plus c that is the condition of the ap if the terms are in the order now first of all we see the quadratic equation and on writing the coefficient of x square that is a and see that this is the coefficient of b sorry coefficient of x that is b and this is our constant term so this is c dash and the roots are real and equal therefore the d is equals to 0 and we know that d is discriminant now in order to prove the result first of all we need to find the d and also all of us we know that the formula to find the discriminant is b square minus 4 times a into c dash now on putting the value here we get first of all the value of d is 0 so on putting here d is equals to 0 now putting the value of b that is c minus a bracket whole square minus 4 times a and the value of a is b minus c and the value of c dash is a minus b now on simplifying the bracket here applying the formula we get c square plus a square minus 2ac here on multiplying the brackets we get b into a that is ab b into b that is b square c into a that is ac and c into b with the minus signs on multiplying these minus we get plus and we left with the bc now on multiplying the 4 with the bracket we get first of all we write this term that is c square plus a square minus 2ac on multiplying we get minus 4 times ab minus into minus is plus that is 4 times b square minus into minus is again plus that is 4ac and minus into plus is that is minus which is minus 4bc now on rearranging the terms or simplification we see that here minus 2ac and 4ac that are the like terms now first of all we write c square plus a square plus 4ac and minus 2ac we get that is 2ac minus 4ab plus 4b square and already we use this term so we left with minus 4 times bc now on rearranging the terms we get first of all that is a square plus 4 times b square plus c square and first of all writing the 4ab that is in the order then minus 4bc and then plus 2ac also we know that this is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square so on simplification we see that this is the square of a only this term is the square of 2b and this is the square of c here we see that this is this term is minus and this term is also minus and here we see that the b is common in both the terms so the b is negative so i'm putting the minus sign with the 2b here and according to the formula all the terms are positive so i'm writing the plus here and the formula is plus 2ab therefore plus 2 a is our a and b is our minus 2b so here if we multiply these two uh, these three terms we see that the result is minus 4ab again according to the formula we have the plus sign and 2 with the bb is minus 2b and the c that is c only now we left with the 2ac according to the formula 2 into a into c now as we know that this is the formula of a plus b plus c whole square so on writing here we get a minus 2b plus c whole square on taking the square root we left with the result that is a minus 2b plus c is equals to 0 
on shifting the 2b of minus here from left to right this will change their sign and we left in the left hand side that is a plus c is equals to 2b it may be written as 2b is equals to a plus c which is our required result hence we say that these terms are in the ap thank you friends